Hey, welcome back to Good Knit Kisses. I'm your host, Kristen, and today is Thursday Crochet. I hope you're doing well today. Uh, we are in the studio today, and actually I will be filming very soon on a another tutorial. Um, I have got, um, sorry, it is way bright. <laughs> uh, I've got a, um, a tutorial that I've got to um, film up today and edit. And uh, so I just wanted to hop on real quick and say hello and welcome. Uh, if you're catching me on the replay, I'm so glad you're here. If you're catching me live, yay, I get to say hi to you in person, sort of. <laughs> uh, say hello. And uh, yesterday, um, I was just checking out who came on yesterday. It was so fun. I just saw one from um, Melbourne, Australia, which is kind of cool. And, uh, and then anyone is in my own backyard. I love it. So um, yesterday we looked at the lookbook and looking more at knit things at, for yarn inspirations, and we can certainly look at that again. And uh, I'd love to hear more about what you guys are wanting to see from Good Knit Kisses for this year. Uh, I am working obviously with uh, yarn inspirations as their new knitting host, and I can do um, really you can do videos on um, any patterns that uh, I'd like to do. So if you have any requests, please make them known to me. And I would love to help accommodate that. Uh, I'm going to say hi to people as they hop on. Be sure and tell me hello. Hey, Debbie, good morning. How are you today? Debbie, and I met Debbie at a retreat in 2012. Um, I hosted that with uh, Michael Selleck and Elizabeth Ham, And that was a really fun trip. Uh, we were doing crochet and loom knitting there in Denton, Texas. Got to see some alpaca, <laughs> and uh, she got to got to feed some. And uh, I see uh, Louisa is hopping on. Hi, Louisa. Welcome. I'm so glad you're here. Uh, welcome, everyone. Um, oh, Debbie, you got a good report on your from your oncologist. Oh, that's fantastic. I love it. Yeah, Debbie, we sure had a lot of fun, didn't we? <laughs> uh, Jane. Oh, she's in Fredericton, New Brunswick, Canada. Fantastic. Good morning. Welcome. I'm so glad you're here. I'm going to get me some coffee here while I... <laughs> I came back from getting the kids and getting all settled to start doing tutorials today. I got my coffee on and I'm sure some we've got some coffee and some tea drinkers out there. It's so funny when people blog and and do live but we always end up talking about our drinks because when we're talking like this... You get parched really fast. <laughs> and so it's like the tendency is to pick up your drink and then you want to talk about it, right? <laughs> like it's the elephant in the room or something. <laughs> Good morning, Mary. Oh, she's in Texas. Howdy. Margaret in St. Al Margaret in St. Al Albert, Canada. Sorry. Margot. Or is that Margot? It's probably Margot. Christine. Good morning. Oh, Debbie. Yes, I sure hope the weather in Texas improves and quickly. I know it's been like really foggy today. It was like foggy, misty and stuff. And normally I like to, um, I've, I've got windows in here and, and my other, um, area, my, my last house, um, I was able to like open the windows and get some sun streaming in. But for the last several days, it has been dreary. I've got no sun coming in. And so I've got them shut right now because there's no point. Um, with gray clouds outside. Uh, so, um, Mary, hey, how are you? Hey, Heather, welcome back. You were here yesterday. I love it. And uh, let's see who else we've got coming on here. Um, oh, my gosh. Hey, Joanne, I see you popped in. Wow, it's like my scrolling, the Facebook scrolling thing is happening. You love the pink yarn hanging up? Ooh. Isn't this fun? Uh, I've got several that are um, from uh, different people and then ones that I found. And um, they have not made their way to needles yet because I sit there. Because they're one, you know, one skein, I'm like, what do I make with it, you know? Um, and so I, I sit there and I wait until it's ready. This was hand spun. I think and Nikki made this. And I've got one from Christine. And uh, Christina in uh, Canada, and it's a purple one, and it's over in the corner there, and it's really pretty. But I end up putting, like, all the pinks here. Isn't that fun? This one right back here, boop, This uh, that is made out from corn fiber. Isn't that crazy? It's got really cool properties. Um, it, it's, um, 
it it wicks like a wool and it's soft like a cotton and it's um hypoallergenic and so it's great like if you have someone like who's a chemo patient and stuff anyway I, I think they call it corny goodness it has another name as well but um i got it from these ladies who are in um uh what are they what's the name of their uh, a twist in time so if you look up a twist in time uh on facebook uh you'll find them and they raise their own uh they raise their own animals and uh, for for hair and um uh, but also they apparently have a way to get this corny goodness stuff <laughs> uh madeline hi good morning and heather you're getting rain now too hey good morning chris hey and carol hopped on i know she's got a limited time today hi uh, hello, Charlotte in Florida and Eileen and Melissa. Okay, so I have to admit something here, you guys. Um, oh my gosh. So, <laughs> Romper Room. Everybody has been telling me, oh, you remind me of the Romper Room when you say hello. <laughs> I Maybe I watched it as a kid and I'm like not really realizing like I... You know, like, anyway, I Googled it. I, I YouTubed it yesterday, and I was like, oh, my gosh, I totally do the robber room thing without even realizing it. So it's like, magic mirror. <laughs> Who you see? I see Sharon from Tennessee with crazy weather last week. Snow this week, short weather. Whoa, and I see Greg, and I see Lucy, and I, no, just <laughs> I had no idea. No clue. <laughs> I just like to say hi to you. <laughs> so isn't that funny that I never saw it and I'm like totally doing whatever they do. <laughs> I watched a couple episodes. I was like, well, not episodes, but just like when they do the little magic mirror thing. So funny. Nobody puts purple in a corner, Debbie says. <laughs> Debbie. <laughs> no, my purple... <laughs> My purple she has in a bag and it's labeled that way and I kind of feel like if I take it out of the bag and put it on here, then I'm going to lose that, you know, <laughs> that label. I probably need to like make a label for it and like write it out and like staple it to it so I don't lose it because it has all her information on there. So anyway, Madeline, okay, she wants to know if I have a tutorial on a baby Leia set. Um... I need to make one or gift one, but don't know how to start. So, are you trying to crochet one today? Well, since it's crochet, crochet Thursday, um, I'm going to assume you mean uh, crochet. But I do have a baby layout set, which is loom knitted. And that I do have, um, I have the patterns on my goodknitkisses.com site. And if you um, just type layout in the search bar, and then you'll find it. Um, I should have... Um, links to video um, techniques and so I don't have a full video for that but it's got links to the techniques so that you can do what you need to do if that helps <laughs> so uh, let's see oh Joanne you love when when yarn has a story yeah totally totally oh you like the necklace Carol this is um, I haven't worn this in a while but I made this um, several years back when I first started um, crocheting necklaces. So thank you. Um, so Chris, you're getting lots of rain too. It's crazy. I kind of get down and dreary. So we, um, yeah, it's kind of hard. So you grew up on Romper Room, Debbie? <laughs> oh my gosh. So fun. Martha is asking, what, what is my favorite color? That's really hard to say. Now, I, everybody knows, I mean, I really do enjoy like a green, like a chartreuse green. I really enjoy it. It's really fun and everything. But man, and you know, I'd say, I don't know, purples and pinks maybe um, kind of run a close second. I used to say reds and blacks. Black's not really a color. Um, you know, just because I wear black a lot. But I do love green. I mean, I'm wearing green today. Um, yeah, but this chartreuse green. If I was just going to pick one thing, I would probably just say chartreuse green. You know, so that would be it. Um, let's see. Either knit or crochet. It's so hard to say one color, right? Like, that's hard. Thank you for the link, Joanne, to the layout set. Um, 
Melissa, Melissa says, take a photo of your wool and its label when you get it. Save it on a file on your phone called wool. Oh, that's, that's not a bad idea. I, I fill up my phone with lots of photos, though. That's not good. And videos. Oh, my gosh. Man, it's crazy. <laughs> Captain Kangaroo, Debbie. Yes, I used to watch Captain Kangaroo. I do remember that. And um, uh, Mr. Peppermint. Um, and then Mr. Rogers and, um, oh my gosh. And then I Googled, when I was Googling romper room, then Mr. Rogers came up and I had to watch him and he had made this birthday cake and he was singing happy birthday and he's like, happy birthday, happy birthday. Da, 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 da. I'm like, I need to memorize that song. That's a really good one. So the red behind me. Yeah. Heather says that red behind me. Yeah. Look at all that red. See, here's my colors. You got the reds go into the pinks and then we go down to other pinks down here and then purple is actually right behind me like you can't even see it uh, you can't see it <laughs> so yeah and then there's a pink shawl up top I mean I do love pinks anyway all right so I I'm so glad you guys are here okay now that I have you here captive audience <laughs> so um, I'm going to be able to do more yarn inspirations tutorials um, from Spinrite. I can do, I can look at yarn, um, lookbooks. Wow, I've been waiting on this page to recycle. I've got my my um, uh, iPad here, and um, anyway, I was going to like kind of search and show you some things, and then all of a sudden, the network is not working. <laughs> so <laughs> um, anyway. I wanted to talk to you guys about what you would like to see from Good It Kisses coming up. So, um, if you would like to, um, for Good It Kisses, do you want to see more um, at stitch patterns as far as crochet goes? Or do you want to see like the new stuff, like all the lookbook stuff, all those things? Um, I know that Michael Selleck with the Crochet Crowd, he's doing um, tons of their lookbooks, uh, their current ones. And... Um, and that's great and um, but I am able to do some um, I'm probably gonna be concentrating more in um, knitting with needles and on loom and then I can also pick up some crochet um, but as far as crochet goes um, I'd love to be able to show that to you um, uh, if you have a particular selection that you would like to see that's from me <laughs> so um, let's see Melissa Melissa, you're saying jealous of, of you all. It's been a hundred and what? 109.4 with 70% humidity. Melissa, where are you? I'm sure that's like the relative temperature. <laughs> um, Martha, some people say you choose um, what you choose for your favorite color tells a lot about your personality. What does chartreuse green say about me? What does that say? I know the label's like totally backwards for you. <laughs> I would say bright and sunny, yeah. Uh, positive outlook, or at least I'm trying to keep a positive outlook. Uh, <laughs> I do like how this looks on camera. I like how it comes out and it's not too like super bright. Well, yeah, it does come out, come yeah out here. Anyway, this rear facing camera is um, is different than the than the forward the regular facing one. So um, that sounds funny. Rear facing. Technically, this is forward. My names are all mixed up. But anyway, I do love how this comes out on camera, but I enjoy it as well. So, um, let's see. Queens what Oh, you're in Australia, Melissa. Oh, goodness gracious. Now you're in the middle you're in the middle of summer right now then? Um yeah, we get it pretty bad here, Melissa, um in uh North Texas. If you are in College Station, Texas, the humidity is probably closer to what you experience. Uh, in uh, Houston. Um, but yeah, it gets pretty hot here too. We've had some 115 degree <laughs> days. I have survived three summers with babies uh, being pregnant. And that was no joke. That was pretty bad. And one of the summers we moved like two weeks before I had the baby. <laughs> so <laughs> that was our last house. <laughs> so yeah, pretty, pretty hard. Um, it's not fun to knit in the, in that, um, you tend to do a lot of short projects <laughs> and, you know, staying inside air conditioning is a blessing. <laughs> so from Texas to Australia, I, I, I care, uh, you know, 
I'm sorry and I feel you. <laughs> but it's not as humid in North Texas, which is good, but it can be. Yeah. Oh, it's too hot to sleep. I'm sorry, hun. Um, <clears throat> oh, it says that I'm fun. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, so I, anyway, I am, uh, I'm happy you guys are here. I, seriously, I, I really, I was hoping to kind of show you some things, but my iPad is completely, like, white. Nothing, nothing happening. Nothing happened. If I wanted to use it for a light source, I could. <laughs> anyway. So if you guys can let me know um, kind of what you're what you're wanting to go for, I don't have a lesson tutorial to tell you today. Um, I will tell you that there are resources on my Goodnight Kisses site. So if you're not familiar with that, go to goodnightkisses.com and you can click on blog or resources. But if you're just looking for crochet, I would suggest going to the search area and just type crochet and you will find um, a listing of things. And I'll actually give a little icon and a, a, a title and then kind of a description of what's in there um, rather than just going to resources because there's actually, um, it'll pull from the blog and the resources. So, which are two different places on my website. So um, there's lots of patterns or techniques and um, all kinds of stuff. And then if there's a tutorial that goes along with it, it will be embedded with it. So if you need the written pattern and the video, they're all together. Uh, so that's really good. So, oh, Chris, how's my daughter feeling today? She was feeling better. She was feeling um, good to go to school, um, except then she, I don't know. I don't know, you guys. She's Every little thing, oh, my ankle hurts, oh, my this, you know, and it's like, you're going to school. Like, maybe you're having growing pains, but honey, you can't miss school because something hurts. Sorry. <laughs> so, she's at school today. I'm like, you're fine. She's fine. <laughs> So, I'm oh, sorry. Am I a hard mom? I, you know, <laughs> I let her stay home the other day because her tummy was hurting. Um, but, um, yeah, like growing pains, not going to happen. <laughs> April says, debating on making your um, fantail stitch for your tutorial. Uh, but it was, uh, but was was make it into a full blanket. I am assuming I just changed 22. I'm sorry, I'm not reading that. I don't have a fan, fan tail stitch um, tutorial, so I'm not sure what that is. It's probably someone else. Um, but if you're chaining, you know, probably you're chaining the width first, and then um, you'll have like a couple extra chains for a turning chain or something. But if it's not mine, I don't know. Um, so if it's something that like draws up a little bit more, it. I don't know. It might be the width. It might be that when you when you do it, it's a little shorter. It just depends on the stitch pattern or whatever that is. So I'm sorry. You might have to Google that and find out. Uh, uh, Crystal says I'm currently working on the modern granny blanket, but making two. Oh yeah, you're gonna make you're sewing together, make a sweater. Well, that'd be nice. Oh, good morning, Rebecca. So you're gonna make a loom knit afghan and uh, can't knit, but you um, but you do crochet. Do you like to take your loom knitting and then add crochet around it? That's um, a lot of crocheters like to do that. They'll just make something simple in loom knitting and then uh, crochet a border or add um, add a really cool um, dimension to it. Chris, no, she's not having trouble in school. She's avoiding, um, but it's hard because, um, well, we were moving and but it's not a new school like it's the same school it's like they had winter break and then um and then we sold the house and then we moved and well we had sold the house a while back but we had to pack and we had to move and then when they go back to school then they were there for four days and then they had a four-day weekend and during that entire time her dad was off for two weeks and so it was like trying to get her back on like a schedule and she had gotten sick. It was the same child who actually had been throwing up sick two weeks before. And so I thought, well, maybe it was coming back or something. But the other stuff, I don't know. I, I don't know. She's growing really fast. And I had, 
I just remember I'm six foot one and I had a ton of growing pains when I was her age, like a lot. And like my, the back of my tendons, my ankles would hurt. I get cramps up and down my calves a lot. I mean, like you're growing so fast, your body's trying to catch up and like it's, there's nothing you can do about it. I really, besides like massaging it out or something like that, I think that's really what she's have what's happening. Because I, I actually did ask her. I said, you know, is there something that you're avoiding at school? She's like, no, I want to go to school. I don't like missing school. And I'm like, well, then w quit complaining to me. <laughs> Sorry, this is supposed to be crochet, and I'm like just getting on my soapbox about my daughter. Sorry. <laughs> um, anyway, she loves to learn. She's in the Gifted Talented program. She looks forward to it. She didn't want to miss it today. They're working on um, alternate uh, uh, energy sources and renewable energy sources and stuff like that. And she was taking some recycled plastic bottles today to do something. And she had this really brilliant idea last night. So anyway, okay, I'm just going to stop rattling on about my daughter. Um, <laughs> Heather... Yes, I have used Lion Brand Homespun Yarn. Yes, I have used it. I've used it on um, luminating. I've also done, um, I've attempted it with crochet. I don't like it with crochet. Um, it's like, and, and I even tried to do like the, um, the one that's like the thick and quick version. Because I'm like, well, I'm going to get it done faster. And I did not like it. Um, there are people who enjoy it. Not a fan. I didn't enjoy it. Um, Lori, oh, you're headed to hospital for your surgery on your ankle. Ooh, ooh, I'm so sorry. Ouch. Well, I'm, I hope you, I hope you have a great surgery and everything turns out well and you can, you can make it back quickly. Um, let's see. <clears throat> the, um, sorry, I'm just scrolling up. That's our winter day. Okay, I'm out of progress. I, I'm, I'm out of sorts on some of the comments. I'm not really sure I understand. Marlene, you want to try Tunisian crochet? Do you have a video about that? No, not yet. No, I don't. Um, I know that Mikey has Tunisian crochet videos. Um, I want to say that Elizabeth Ham does as well. Um, but yeah, I could I could certainly look into doing that. Uh, that would be that would be cool. So I can check that out. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm uh, not sure what you're saying, Ada. I'm sorry. Huh? Sorry. Oh, are y'all having problems watching live? I'm so sorry. Um, you know, Facebook's having a, some problems the last few days. I'm not really sure. I couldn't even get on yesterday. Carol told me after the fact that she was trying to do something um, on um on Facebook, she saw my little light come on and off, on and off, like I was on and then I wasn't. And then my whole Facebook page disappeared for her. And then it came back on. And anyway, so I don't know what's going on. I'm sorry. Um, Christine, your daughter has growing pains at night too. Yeah, yeah. And mine's like having them all the time, like day or night. And that's the way I was. I mean, she's 10. So, yeah. And I try to get her to stretch it out. And um, she knows like things from ballet and stuff and learning how to stretch it out. But yeah, kids can be difficult. We'll just sum it up with that, Crystal. Kids can be difficult. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. Chris says, glad she likes school and no problems. Uh, and you like that I can throw family stuff in my broadcast? Oh, thanks. Yeah, Chris. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, kids can be difficult. <laughs> They can be a joy that they can be difficult too. <laughs> oh my word. Oh my word. You know, I love my kids. I sometimes I yearn for the day when I only had one. But anyway. <laughs> but I would never give them up and I would never you know what I mean? It's not the it's not the the other two that I don't <laughs> like. It's just like, oh my gosh, you know, it's like you ever go to the store? I yarn shopping. Let's bring it into yarn. I've taken my oldest yarn shopping and I can deal with that, but I can't bring all three of them with me. And, um, but what I have to, well, I can't, I can't say I can't. Okay, here, I have a solution for you. If you're shopping with your children, um, what I did is, um, I had projects that I wanted to do and I told the kids that they could help me. And so, um, I said, okay, um, you all get baskets 
and you're going to each help me with project. And then I said, okay, so this is this project and I want to, I want to make something that uses five colors and, um, and it has to be something that has a four on it and, um, help me pick out the colors that look best. And then they help me pick them out and stuff. And then I had some feedback. It's not like I was going to buy something I didn't like, but anyway, so I threw that into a shopping trip one time, but oh my gosh, it took forever and they enjoyed it and they loved it and they remembered it, but my goodness, that was hard. So you have to have some time to do that. Oh, Chris says, not a big fan of homespun either. Really hard to see the stitches. Yeah, I love when it's worked up. Like, I can appreciate when it's all, like, done. And you're looking at it, and you're like, oh, that looks so nice. And it feels so nice. But doing it is a different thing. Yeah. So, <laughs> um, okay. So, Mary, wanting to make a blanket for a king-size bed, what's an easy stitch or pattern for such a large project? Hmm. Well, Mary, it depends. Um, in crochet, if you're just if you're just trying to make a large project and like make it large, you know, like it depends. Are, are you wanting a really um, airy blanket, like a throw, or are you wanting it like something that's going to be nice and um, warm and cuddly? Um, I'd probably let me see if I have a stitch. I've got a, I've got a book of crochet stitches right here. Um, there is one. That I would like. I mean, there's always the ripple stitch, which is I think is very nice and lovely on a bed, and I think it's nice and warm. There is one that I've been wanting to um, look at. Sorry, I'm trying to find it right now. Let's see. You got shells, post clusters are really nice. They have this wave to them. This is a this is a nice one. It's got this kind of wave to it. See that? And that would be that would be nice because it has a bit of a texture to it. Um, there's a particular one I'm trying to find. Um, let me see. But if you're trying to make it just like open and stuff, I mean, I wouldn't just say, oh, just do a double crochet, but... Um, I'd have to find an answer for you. Crossover. I can't find what I'm looking for. Anyway, okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I'm looking while I'm, okay. Anyway, there's some really lovely like filet crochet that looks really nice on a bedspread. I don't know, it just depends on your, um, on, on your, uh, on, on your level of expertise. Sorry. <clears throat> oh, people are saying it keeps freezing up. Oh, Chris says no problems with live, but I'm, uh, I'm betting weather causing connection problems. Yeah, you're probably right. A lot of us are in like areas with like, there's a lot of, um, cloud cover and like today it's like super foggy and drizzly outside. And so it's probably not the best here. And then a lot of people are in areas that are like that as well, so it's just causing a lot of interference. So um, I probably should just go ahead and start wrapping this up just in case. Um, Rebecca says she's new at loom knitting. Just learned how to make a hat. Don't know much about loom knitting. Homespun yarn is scary. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, homespun yarn is scary. And um, it can get hung up and it can get, it can break, which is not good. Um, Oh, the hey, Christine, uh, Christy, you're on here. I uh, she's just home homespun esque yarn, <laughs> and a lap bank blanket with another shaggy yarn. Um, yeah, you want the key is to use um, a simple enough stitch. Um, it when you use a lot of spaces on here, it's hard for me to see it. Like actually cuts off, and I can't see the rest of what you're saying. I get like dot dot dot. <laughs> so, oh, Linda, I'm having growing pains of a whole different level now. Yeah, as we age. <laughs> Um, yeah, so, um, oh my gosh, y'all are funny. I'm just reading all of your comments. I'm still kind of backed up on the comments here. Oh my gosh. Tunisians on your to learn list, Christy. Um, you, Kim Guzman. Yeah, she does have a bunch of tutorials on, uh, Tunisian. Yeah. Uh, Kim, Kim has a lot of patterns, uh, as well. Thank you. Uh, Christy's saying thank you uh, that she loves my necklace. Um, 
Wow, Chris Chris is uh, Chris says her daughter loves to take her yarn shopping and even pays sometimes. Wow. That's really great. Yeah. <clears throat> so I'm gonna kinda keep scrolling. Well, um oh Renee's Renee has four kids and they refuse to yarn shop with you. They think you're crazy. Yeah. If my kids could really see how I looked when I was when I'm shopping by myself, um, yeah. I I kind of feel like <laughs> Have y'all has okay? This is completely unrelated to Good Knit Kisses right here, but um, it, I'm relating it back to like me shopping. Um, I watched this video from I Mom So Hard. Have y'all ever seen that? Um, it's two ladies, two moms who are talking about um, being a mom and how hard it is, and like they're just really real with you. And then one day, but they're talking about TV shows that so we just, they just want to be able to watch their own TV shows. And then they mention Game of Thrones and the girl says, do you want to come over and watch Game of Thrones with me? And she's like, no, I like to do that by myself. You know, like, <laughs> so, um, and so I feel that way sometimes about yarn shopping. I'm like, I just want to do it by myself. Like a guilty pleasure. Like a, I just want to go and, um, and just just leisurely shop. If I don't have the kids with me, that's like my time. That's like my, my me time, right? I don't mind yarn shopping with a friend, but like when you're by yourself, you can meander and, you know, not feel rushed or have to chat with anybody, right? <laughs> that's all in your brain. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, <clears throat> Joanne, your your daughter loves to go yarn shopping too. She has great taste, uh, great tastes, and gets stuck looking at the alpaca corner. <laughs> yeah, I get stuck at the alpaca corner too. <laughs> um, warm and cuddly, yeah. Um, Virginia, oh, you're welcome. Uh, she's thanking me for a loom video. Um, oh, you're making Barbie dolls and clothes. How fun! That's so fun. Um. Crystal says, I would use multiple strands and work with a big hook and work up quick. Yeah. Well, if you do multiple strands and a big hook, um, yeah, it will work up quick. I mean, it, it's going to cost you on that. But it could become very dense and big. I mean, like if you don't want a really heavy blanket, you might not want to do that. It just kind of depends. Um, so anyway, <laughs> um, good to see you. Hey, Carrie, I see you hopped on. How are you? I haven't seen you in a while. Um, yeah, granny squares are good for beds. I was just trying to think of something that's not necessarily a granny square. Um, just, I mean, cause you can find that everywhere. Um, anyway, well, I am, um, I'm going to have to head out of here, but, um, let me know if you guys find anything in the lookbooks and if you are, um, uh, it, this crochet that you would like me to do again, you can go back to, um, you can go backwards of last year. If you go onto yarnspirations.com and click on the little uh, button to see everything, click lookbook and you can go through those. If you look at them and you find something in crochet that you're like, I'd love Kristen to show this. I've seen this from somebody else or maybe you haven't seen it. Just let me know. Just come back on here and say blah, 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 blah from your inspirations and I'll try and look at it. Oh, lookbook. Well, Melissa, um, she says, what's a lookbook? I was trying to, I was going to show you guys and navigate on my iPad today and it's not working. But if you go to yarnspirations.com, um, you can find this thing called a lookbook. And what it is, is every month they come out with a, um, a series of patterns, knit and crochet, and they've got beautiful foot photography on them and everything. And then they actually have, they have the, the pattern listed out and then they list out what yarn they used and what hook. And, um, you can even like buy it like as a set and like um and it'll tell you you know it actually even sets it out like contrast a b c you know whatever and then it tells you can buy them as a whole set or you can just download the pattern and um it's really nice um so you can buy it online or you can um buy your supplies in the store and um Anyway, I think it's a really cool thing. But the lookbooks come out every month. There's one coming out. The one came out, Gray Matters, came out this month. Next month is another one. I've already seen some of the patterns, and I've already started working up a sample, and I'm dying to show you guys. Um, <laughs> but I can't. It's off in the corner. Um, so um, I will be having some things come out next month. However, I can still supplement and come up with things that aren't in the current lookbook. I can look backwards as well. Um, oh, there's the link for Gray Matters. 
those. But if you go to yarnspirations.com and um, just click on the little the little line button when you click on that and go down to look book and it'll show you all the lookbooks and you can click around. So if you want some inspiration and some beautiful pictures, like it, they look like these digital magazines, it like flips and stuff. It's really nice. I like how they've done it. Um, so anyway, you guys have a great day. I'll be seeing you. And um, the next time I'll see you is on uh, Monday. But you will see other um, videos from me coming out. Um, look on Your Inspiration's uh, website for my latest video. It'll be coming out in the next few days. Um, love you guys. So, Oh, I just created an addiction. <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah, their lookbooks are amazing. Anyway, you guys have a great day and happy crochet. Bye-bye.